Hi, my name is Ty Tessman, and today I'm going to talk, to, talk you through my um, TQ and winning car, and TQ and second car from the Psycho Nitro Blast 2021. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the e-buggy first. Um, so as you can see, it's, I'm running the zero rebound shocks, front and rear, and I do it on both cars. Um, these shocks make the car very stable, very predictable, and easy to drive. And when I say easy to drive, I don't mean it's lazy or it pushes. Uh, easy to drive means the car does whatever I want it to. It's very predictable. You know what it's going to do. You turn. It does exactly the inputs you want it to do is what I say is easy. Um, that's what these shocks give. They give a lot of stability. Uh, makes the car very comfortable to drive. So then we'll move on to the arms. I always run graphite rear arms. Um, it just makes the car again more precise, more predictable. I know what it's going to do. And then the same goes for the front upper arm is graphite. Uh, it makes the car again more more precise. I can put the car where I want on the track better. Uh, for the lower arms, for um, warm temperatures, I'm going to run the graphite. And then when it gets cooler, I'm going to run the plastic. So give a little bit more d durability, especially on the size of the tracks that we run on these days and how fast they are. Uh, it's just a little bit a little bit more durable with the soft material in cold temperatures. Um, so next we'll move on to the wing. The Lexan wing for me gives the car a good stability at high speed. It doesn't roll over, it really sucks to the ground, it kind of it exits the corner much better as well. It's just very stable and um, predictable too on high speed sections where you're big sweeping corners like PMB had. Um, it just makes the car that much better I think, especially paired with the new EZ21 body. Uh, both those it jumps really well with this body as well. That's another big thing about the new body is it jumps very well, very stable, and does give the car more overall grip, especially at high speed. So we'll do take the body off now. And as you can see, the inside's very stock. It's just how a car comes. I like to run the battery in the back. Um, this makes it feel more like a nitro car, I feel like, like how it tr the weight transfer and how it drives around. I run the Protec 6100 shorties in there, and then paired with the Hobbywing 2200 motor and XR8 Pro speed control. Uh, these two are fairly new. Hobbywing just came out with them a little while ago. Um, they really changed how my e-buggy drove and how the power delivery was. It's made a lot smoother, a lot more like 10th scale feel. It's very uh, linear and a really nice power band, and they have a lot more adjustability with it too with the program box and it's just you can really tune it to what you want a lot better and the MKS 599 steering servo uh, it gives a great speed, a great feel um, I don't need to adjust the speeds on the radio or anything it's just how it comes is how I run it and it feels great and I solid mount them to the radio plate or radio tray whichever it's in and I haven't had a problem with them since or yet so I run them in all my cars throttle, throttle brake one, steering one all the same servo. Okay, so moving on to the Nitro car. This one again has the zero rebound shocks. Um, one thing I didn't mention before, but they do give more side bite traction too, and it gives the car a better like overall grip level. Um, again, the same thing goes with the rear arms too. They do give a little bit more grip on power, uh, just more stability. It pushes the tire into the ground harder. Um, front arms again, I run the graphite, same reason. Uh, another thing I forgot on the e-buggy, but it's the same, I run the graphite hubs on the front, paired with the graphite pillow ball cups, and then I do the pencil trick also to keep it super free, and the graphite on aluminum is a lot freer than just regular plastic, so I use those all the time. It just makes the car more free, especially in long races when it gets dirty and it's run for 45 hour long races. Uh, it really is consistent through the whole race. And then the lower arms again, graphite when it's warm, and then I put softs on when it gets cooler, um, just for durability. I'm going to take the body off. So, you can see I run the, the um, MKS servos again, 599 servos, in both solid mounted to the tray. There's no bushing or anything in between, it's just solid so it's nice and precise again, and the servos have no problem holding up with that. Uh, again, you'll see probably the, the FX low head. I run the three-port engine with the low head for that race because there was so much high-speed corners, big sweepers, 
it keeps the car a lot more stable under those. It doesn't wiggle around or dump around in the corners. So it keeps the car very stable and supported feeling uh, and allows me to go faster around those corners. And then I'm running the 2108 pipe, FX pipe, and the medium header. Um, these, this combination, I feel like, gives the most top speed of the, for the car and still a good power band through the whole range. But for that track especially, your car needed to be fast, and my car was plenty fast. So other than that, I run the graphite rear chassis plate, plate uh, braces in the back, and the XT8 carbon fiber um, center diff plate. It just gives a little bit more rigidity to the center diff and more room for the linkage to clear. Uh, so those are my cars from the race. Uh, we had a really good weekend. I think it was a really good showing for um, the new tire setup and engine program. I uh, just couldn't be happier with how the week went. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.